Are you feeling like you're going against the current right now, out of sync, disconnected from your inner guidance? If so, then you are certainly not alone. We're collectively going through a huge transition where we're being called to find new ways of living and being because the old ways that we used to do many things are no longer working or sustainable. If you're attached to doing some things the same way that you've always done them or you're doing things because that's what you think you should be doing, then you might struggle to get ahead or run the risk of burning out in the process. How you respond to this transition is up to you. You can re respond out of fear and make the apparent lack of forward momentum mean something about you, like you're not good enough, you're lacking in some way, all of that head stuff that we tell ourselves. Or you can let go and trust that everything is unfolding exactly as it needs to be in your life right now and let the universe guide you back into flow and into alignment with your highest path and possibly even enjoy the ride. So in today's video, I'm asking the tarot cards on behalf of anyone who needs it, what do I need to know right now that will help me get more aligned with who I'm here to be? And let's see what insights they have to offer to move through blocks or to embrace the opportunities. As ever, choose one card intuitively or just feel into all of the messages and see what resonates. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if anything speaks to you today. Hi, it's Kathy here. Thanks for tuning in. I make videos on transformation, abundance, spirituality, and how we can make life easier and more enjoyable by looking at it through the lens of the tarot. If you enjoy this video, do please like and subscribe so that you get the latest content. So in last week's tarot poll, I was asking the cards for guidance to navigate the chaos that many energetically sensitive people feel impacted right now as the planet and humanity goes through this huge transition. While things might not yet be flowing as we'd like, it's empowering to remember that there is still a higher consciousness and the intelligence that's organizing all of the moving pieces. And we are part of that organization or that reorganization. But for this global shift in consciousness to happen, some of how we do things, how we think and what we believe, it has to change. And we have a lot of resistance to change. Hence the turmoil within and its reflection in the world at large. We're finding now more and more of us that we just can't force or push through obstacles in the same way and realizing that there must be another way that is right for us, even if the path ahead is unclear and unknown. But this means that we really have to lean in and trust our inner guidance. So the analogy that works for me here is um, like going to lots of effort, like rowing against a strong flowing current in a river and then pulling up your oars and just letting the river gently turn you around and carry you in the direction that is most uh, aligned for us as individuals uh, and collectively potentially. So it's about letting that divine intelligence that's flowing through our lives letting it lead and uh giving less resistance to it but it's not easy to give up that control so let's see what the cards offer as help to get more aligned so the first card today is the ace of cups this is a really positive card in tarot and it's about new beginnings emotional fulfillment and deep connections it suggests that to become more aligned, you should focus on cultivating love and compassion and on your emotional well being. This includes not only romantic love, but also self love and compassion for others and a sense of empathy. So, by embracing love and emotional experiences, you actually invite positive energy into your life and you create more harmony within yourself. The Ace of Cups, it also encourages you to trust your intuition and to listen to your inner voice. So deep down, you already possess all the wisdom and guidance that you need to align yourself with your true path. So pay attention to your instincts and your gut feelings and those inner impulses, because that intuition helps you make choices that are aligned with your authentic self. 
The Ace of Cups also represents a deep spiritual connection and invites you to explore and nurture your spiritual side. This can involve practices like meditation, prayer, mindfulness, or any other form of spiritual exploration that resonates with you. By dedicating time to spiritual activities, you can really deepen your understanding of yourself and of the world around you. And that self-discovery can only bring you into greater alignment. In order to get into alignment, you first need to get more into harmony and balance within yourself. We all know that, you know, when life is stressful, it, it, it feels like it all compounds on itself. And so, and you get in your head and you're trying to find out solutions and you just get more and more stuck or more and more in a hole, um, more and more stressed. And it just, you yeah, know, it just builds on itself. So the first thing to do is to take a step back from that and to actually choose to create more harmony within yourself. So that might be by forgiving yourself, forgiving others, letting go of grudges and letting go of negative emotions that no longer serve you or limiting beliefs that are holding you back. And also to embrace your emotions and express them authentically. When you do this, you create space for positive energy and new opportunities to come into your life. So the second card. This is the justice card. So Justice card is associated with fairness and truth, balance and impartiality. When you're seeking guidance on how to get more aligned, there are a few different principles that it points to. So firstly, it urges you to strive for truth and objectivity in your thinking and in your actions. So if you pick this card or this card resonates with you today, take a step back from your situation and examine it with a really clear and impartial perspective. Let go of any preconceived ideas that might cloud your judgment. Uh, balance is a really key aspect of alignment and balance begins from within. So the justice card is a reminder for you to take time to, for self-reflection, for introspection, for self-care. It invites you to look at all the areas in your life to see what you need to work on in order to create more harmony. Think work-life balance or making sure that you're getting your own needs met rather than giving constantly to others. You might need to make some adjustments, but doing so will really help you to align with your authentic self and make choices that resonate with you and with your real true desires. Aligning yourself includes acting with integrity and being fair with others. So the justice card is a reminder to treat people with respect and to be honest and speak your truth and to make decisions that are ethical and in alignment with your own values. Justice also encourages you to take responsibility for your decisions and actions and to recognize that your choices, they have consequences. Aligning yourself involves being accountable for those things that you take action on for those decisions that you make so address any imbalances or injustices that you might have going on and find a way to resolve it that brings about a sense of fairness with the completion so the third card is the knight of wands so the knight of wands in tarot is associated with passion enthusiasm and taking action when this card appears in a reading about getting aligned it offers guidance on how to ignite your inner fire and to align yourself with your desires. So the Knight of Wands, he wants you to explore your passions and embrace what truly excites you. Identify the areas in your life where you feel the most enthusiasm and allow yourself to dive deeper into those places and interests. Aligning with your passion will bring you a much greater sense of purpose and more fulfillment. And if you were drawn to this card, it might signify that you need to take bold and decisive action. Once you have identified your passion or the path that lights you up, the Knight of Wands urges you to take those necessary steps to move forward. So don't hesitate or overthink. Instead, trust your intuition, act with confidence. He's also associated with having a sense of adventure and a willingness to try new things. So to get more aligned, this card then suggests maybe stepping outside of your comfort zone and embracing the unknown. 
be open to new experiences, take risks and let go of any fear that might be holding you back. And if you have already taken that first leap of faith, then the Knight of Wands is a reminder to stay focused and committed to your goals. It's important to channel your energy and enthusiasm into sustained effort rather than allowing yourself to become scattered or distracted. Just keep your eye on the prize and persist even when those challenges arise, which they will. And lastly, while the Knight of Wands encourages taking action, it's also essential to take time to reflect on your progress and reassess your alignment every now and then. Practicing self-reflection or meditation or other practices that help you connect with your inner self will ensure that you're still on the right path as you go along. So that's it for today from, from the cards. I hope you were able to take away some positive messages and guidance to help you. Remember that tarot cards offer guidance and insights, but the interpretation ultimately depends on your unique circumstances. Use the messages from the cards today as a starting point to align yourself with your true desires and then trust your intuition, your inner guidance and wisdom to navigate the journey by. If you'd like my support with getting back into alignment, to find clarity, to feel your own connection with higher guidance, with source energy, to raise your vibration and to generally bring more flow back into your life, then do reach out. The links to my one-to-one -one coaching work are in the description, uh, as is the link to download my handy guide to asking powerful questions, which you can use with the tarot, oracle cards, and you can use them as journal prompts. So that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.